All right, so looking at this, I think it's probably easier if we quickly change the right side to 1 over cos squared theta. It's just easier to look at. Now the left side, which is our harder one, we want to work on. So we're going to have sine squared theta over cos squared theta plus, now I know I'm going to have to change that one anyway, so I'm just going to change it now to cos squared over cos squared. Okay, it's going to give me a common denominator, and it's actually going to finish the question. Because now, when you look at the top, we've got cos over cos and sine over sine, so we now have cos plus sine or sine plus cos, which is 1 over cos squared, and then we're done. Therefore, left side equals right side. Therefore, tan squared plus 1 equals secant squared. Okay, there's your first one. Now your second one's a little bit harder, but it's not that bad. Okay, there's a couple of ways you can go about doing this one. Okay, the, the easiest, I think, is just by, if you were to see this right off the bat, um, if you just factor out a sine theta, well then you're actually pretty much done on the left side here. These two are going to cancel out. You're left with sine over cos, which is tan theta. And that's the right side. Okay. And I know that I'm rushing through these. It is a video. You can stop and kind of look at it if you need a little extra help. But there's not a whole lot to it. Now looking at this one, I think the left side is harder because a plus I always find is harder then at times, but I'm going to quickly change the right side to 1 over cos squared theta times 1 over sine squared theta. Okay? Now let's look at the left side. Left side, we've got 1 over cos squared theta plus 1 over sine squared theta. We're pretty much crossing up here, so we're going to take the sine squared theta and it's going to move up to the top of the left side. The cos squared theta is going to move up to the top of the right. So we're going to have now a common denominator. So we're going to have sine squared theta plus cos squared theta all divided by cos squared times sine squared. Now the top, again, Pythagorean identity, 1 over cos squared theta sine squared theta, which is the same as the right side. Therefore, left side equals right side. Okay. Now none of these are the double angle identities, but they are just giving you practice getting used to all of our different identities on the board there. This one is, I think, significantly harder than what we looked at, but it uses the same idea. Okay, so we've got our left side equals sine squared over cos squared. Now I'm going to use our grade 7 divided by, and then 1 plus sine squared over cos squared. Now if you can't see what to do now, at this point I would look inside the brackets, and I would see that we need to change that. We need to get a common denominator there. So we're going to leave this. We're going to have sine squared over cos squared. We're going to still have divided by. Now it's going to be cos squared over cos squared plus sine squared over cos squared. All we've done is change the 1 to cos over cos, which is still 1. But now, if you look at the top, the top is going to be equal to 1. So we can have sine squared over cos squared times cos over 1. Our cos is cancel. We're left with sine squared, which is the right side. And we are done. Okay. If I were
were you, I'd be working on the worksheet that I gave you today that has all of the review. Don't get caught up on the trig identities. I've given you a bunch of trig identities because there's something that you can never practice too much of. Okay, the more you practice them, the better you're going to get. The more little tricks you're going to see, the more common denominators, multiplying to make things different, so squares, different tricks like that. But work on that overall review sheet today because you do need to remember graphing and pi and 2 pi compared to 180 and 360 and things like that. Okay, so you should be okay with that and I will be back tomorrow.